today we will find the solution of uh, problem 7.2 in chapter uh, 7 uh, Griffith uh, third ed edition this is also related to uh, the perturbation theory problem 7.2 for the harmonic oscillator v of x is equal to half uh, kx squared the allowed energies are E is equal to N plus of H cross omega, where N is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, it will go. Uh, and where uh, omega is equal to square root of K by M is the classical frequency, is the classical frequency. Now, suppose the spring constant increases slightly that is uh, k tends to 1 plus epsilon k, where epsilon is a very small uh, value. Uh, then um, the question is, find the exact new energy. Uh, that is trivial in this case. It's a very simple, that means. Expand your formula as power series in epsilon up to uh, second order. Uh, then the next question is, now calculate the uh, first order perturbation in the energy using equation uh, E sub N1 is equal to uh, the bra psi N of 0, H prime uh, get psi N 0. Uh, then what is H prime here? Compare your result with the part A. You compare this result with part A. The hint is it is not necessary. In fact, it is not permitted to calculate a single integral in doing the problem. Without the integral, you have to do it. That is the condition. Then we will try it to solve uh, problem one by one. This is a very simple problem. Now our uh, first task is to find the perturbed energy, that is En uh, prime. Uh, so, uh, this is equal to n plus of h cross omega prime, where omega prime is uh, k by uh, m, uh, square root of k divided by m into 1 plus epsilon. Because we are disturbing the k, but k is perturbed from k to uh, 1 plus epsilon k. So, I am replacing this instead of k, I am replacing k k uh, times 1 plus epsilon. So now you substitute it here. Once you substitute uh, for omega prime, you will get it. This is the omega prime. Here you know k by m is equal to omega squared. Here k by m is equal to omega squared. Uh, so the, uh, if you take square root of this, it will become omega. You can take out of the square root. So this will become h cross omega square root of 1 plus epsilon. Uh, since epsilon is a very small uh, perturbation, you can write this in terms of power series 1 plus of epsilon minus 1 plus 8 epsilon squared plus 1 over 16 epsilon cube. But we need up to second order only, so you can uh, cancel the... Uh, terms from uh, third, uh, third term. You can cancel from uh, this uh, epsilon q. So you need only these three terms. So the perturbed energy is equal to uh, n plus half h cross omega times 1 plus half epsilon uh, minus 1 over 8 epsilon square. This is the uh, perturbed energy. Our first three term only we have taken that is up to epsilon square. Now, now the part two, part P is we have to find the uh, perturbed Hamiltonian. Uh, see, in the perturbed Hamiltonian, we have uh, perturbation only in the uh, potential energy that is uh, k tends to k prime. So, this is equal to half uh, k prime x squared minus half uh, k x squared. This is unperturbed potential energy. This is perturbed potential energy. Uh, you know, this uh, k prime is equal to uh, 1 plus epsilon k. 
So uh, you replace this by 1 plus epsilon k. This is k. So naturally you take half uh, k x square as a common term. Then here you have 1 plus epsilon. Here you will get minus 1. Now you can uh, cancel the 1 with this minus 1. So you will get uh, epsilon time of uh, kx squared. Uh, so now your uh, perturbed Hamiltonian is epsilon time of kx squared. Uh, but uh, you know that of kx squared is nothing but the potential energy V. So this can be written as epsilon uh, B, the epsilon times the potential energy. This is the perturbed Hamiltonian. Now you have to find the first order uh, perturbation correction in the uh, first order perturbation correction in the energy that is E sub N1. By definition, this is equal to the expectation value of the uh, uh, perturbed Hamiltonian uh, in unperturbed wave function. That is very important. I have explained this in my theoretical lecture that about the first order perturbation theory. Uh, the first order energy correction is equal to the expectation value of perturbed Hamiltonian with, uh, with unperturbed wave function. So I am replacing H, H prime as epsilon V. Epsilon is a constant I am taking out of this inner product and V. Uh, so this is nothing but uh, this term, this inner product is nothing but the expectation value of V. Uh, here, a very important point is in the case of harmonic oscillator using varial the, uh, theorem, the potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. So the potential energy plus kinetic energy is equal to uh, because the potential energy, uh, kinetic energy is equal to potential energy, this will become two times the potential energy, which is equal to the total energy, which is equal to n plus of h cross omega. We will uh, see what will happen to this. Uh, you remember that here I want to, two times the potential energy is equal to this one. We have seen that the two times the potential energy is equal to the total energy En, which is equal to uh, N plus of H cross omega. Then the expectation value of the potential energy is equal to, uh, if you bring two here, this is one over two, uh, N plus of H cross omega. Uh, so the first order energy correction is equal to, we have seen just now, that is equal to epsilon time, the expectation value of V. So which can be written as uh, here uh, you multiply uh, this V by this epsilon. So uh, this will become epsilon by 2, first term, epsilon by 2, N plus of H cross omega. This is the first order energy correction. See, previously uh, and our next task is we, we have to compare this result in, with uh, uh, section A. Uh, in section A, we have found, uh, found the perturbed energy is this one. Here you have to take only the first order perturbation, that is uh, 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 first power of epsilon, which is equal to half epsilon. So if you multiply this, uh, remaining thing you ignore. So, uh, this is uh, unperturbed term. This is perturbed term in first order. So this will become uh, epsilon pi 2. So epsilon pi 2. So epsilon pi 2. So uh, we have confirmed the result obtained uh, from uh, section A in the section P. Uh, so uh, uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, watching my video continuously and supporting me. Thank you very much.